I recently read um, that you you spent a long time trying to have kids. Mm. What was that particular period of your life like, if you don't mind talking about it? I just, you know, I really wanted something a lot and it, it just wasn't happening. And um, that was my main focus because mm. I was really determined. And, you know, Scott could focus his attention elsewhere and that's what he tends to do, like really focus and work hard mm. and that's what you did. So I found that a bit distressing. Mm. Um, well, we both coped with it different ways and it was excruciating. Right. And it wasn't a couple of years. It was a decade and more. As, as Jenny's husband, just watching her pain, like you had your own, but the pain was just unbearable. Jenny, uh, what was your thought process during that period? Um, did you... Did you struggle mentally with, with all of it? Uh, I think I'd have down days and I'd have mm. happy days. Mm. And my friends who know me very, very well would know and I would know who to go and see, who to mm. hang out with, who would make me feel um, yeah. better. Um, you spoke to about how difficult it was when you had kids and you were looking forward to that family time and then the job took him away. Um, do you feel comfortable expressing some of that now? Yeah, but I just don't want people to, like, poor me, everyone has, you know, there's so many single mums out there or single dads or people with family in the Defence Force or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm very mindful that, you know, just because it was tough for me, I mean, a lot of other people are doing it tougher. But it was tough saying all that. It was, um, it's tough being married to a politician that's federal politician. Even more so, I guess, for people from WA and things like that that take longer to get home and, mm. and that situation. And uh, for people that say, well, you knew what you were getting into, it's like I didn't know when I was 17 when I <laughs> married Scott, you know, like I really didn't. And we really wanted children. It's funny that they came at that time. And actually it was probably a good time because it filled up my time a lot more because he was going to be away a lot more. So I had, mm. you know switched on for the kids. Did it make you angry that, that you were left to shoulder all of that responsibility? Uh, yeah, there was a time where um, I couldn't help, you know, feeling resentful that, mm. um, that I was doing it alone and it was something that we both wanted and, mm. and then it was only me experiencing it by myself for a portion of time. But time's a great leveller mm. and um, as it went along, I, you know, I... I learnt to cope better and uh, uh, accepted it and that, that way um, the resentment could go because that wasn't good for our relationship. It was good to get over that and, um, and I have and I think people are really surprised, like they'll say, oh, Scott away again and I'm like, yeah, that's okay, he'll be home. I'm not quite sure when but when he comes it'll be good. So we have little rituals with the family so we... Um, can celebrate, not celebrate, but just enjoy the time when he's home. You're happiest out of the line, like your happiest, I see that with you, amongst your family and friends. Mm. Why on earth would you want this life? <laughs> I, I don't think anyone wants this life. It's not a, a want, but it comes with the territory. Mm. So, yeah, it, it is what it is, basically. Mm. So it's not something I think you are can plan for or look forward to or, you know, there's a lot of lovely things that um, that happen and, and, and wonderful people that I get to meet and some exciting things I get to do. Mm. But on the whole, I like being with my friends and family. I, I love that. Would you let your daughters go into politics? Huh. Wow. <laughs> um, Obviously they'll be making I, their own decisions but... They will I, be I'll advise, let them do whatever they want to do as, as a job. I think that's really, really important Absolutely. that they do what they love. And if yeah. they're passionate about that, I would 100% support them. Yeah. But I would say, do you really want to? <laughs> I'd say the same to them. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say the same to them. It takes a toll, doesn't it? The job? It totally does. But you'd also not stop them doing something they really, really mm. love, I'm sure. Hello, I'm Tom Steinford. Thanks for watching 60 Minutes Australia. 
Subscribe to our channel now for brand new stories and exclusive clips every week. And don't miss out on our Extra Minutes segments and full episodes of 60 Minutes on 9now.com.au as well as the 9now app.